It's happening. The signs of the last day's prophecies are happening, just as Bible prophecy foretold. It's revealing that we are nearing the end of this age of grace and the appearance of the Lord Jesus Christ for his church. Thank you so much for being a part of this Last Days Church community here on this ministry channel of Signs of the Last Days. Thanks to all of you who are supporting this Signs of the Last Days ministry with your prayers and with your offerings. It is you praying and you giving that supports this ministry to be here and continue as we are here watching with you and praying with you. As Lord Jesus commanded, as the signs of the last day's prophecies reveal, we are nearing the appearance of the Lord Jesus Christ for his church and it's time to prepare now. There's news in the Holy Land of the Middle East where Judea and Jerusalem are boiling from the Holy War of the Red Heifer between Hamas and Israel. As the Temple Mount of the Holy City is ready to explode during the upcoming Arab Muslim days of Ramadan that are about to start at the end of this week. Because of the ongoing holy war between Israel and the Palestinian Arabs, the Israeli officials are con concerned, deeply concerned, as they say that Israel is bracing for a potential explosion of violence in Jerusalem as Hamas threatens to escalate their holy war on Israel at the Holy Mount in the Holy City. In response to any Israeli interference against Muslim worshipers in the contested Holy City on the Holy Mount during the Arab Muslim month of Ramadan. The war now going on between the Palestinians of Gaza, which is biblical Philistia, with Israel, the chosen of God, is called a holy war against Israel by Hamas of the Palestinians who say that the war is over the Holy Mount in Jerusalem because of the red heifers. Where it was reported in Israeli and Arab media, such as the Palestinian journal al Rasala and the Arab al Manar channel, which is reportedly closely associated with Hezbollah. It was reported that Palestinian Hamas said that the Al Aqsa Mosque was in danger because of the Red Heifer's arrival in Israel, where Hamas said that the Jews are trying to Judaize the Holy Mount with a Red Heifer sacrifice. As Palestinian Hamas said that the mere presence of these red heifers in Israel is a threat to their holy place of the Al-Aqsa Mosque on the Holy Mount in Jerusalem. As the Palestinian leaders said that the Jews are planning to perform Jewish rituals at the Holy Mount of Jerusalem. Not only did Hamas military spokesmen warn before their heinous October 7 attack of war crimes on Israel, that the arrival of the red heifers for the Jewish sacrifice of ritual purification was a threat. But a Hamas military spokesman in his televised speech marking 100 days since the October 7 attack, he said that the motive for the October 7 massacre he said was the aggression of Israel against their Al-Aqsa Mosque with the bringing of the red cows. That's in his own words. <clears throat> and this holy war on Israel started by Hamas over the red heifer has continued to spread and grow. It began in Israel with peaceful Jewish kibbutzes attacked by the Palestinians as they savagely tortured, raped, mutilated, burned, and beheaded Israeli men, women, elderly, children, and babies, which resulted in the massacre of over 1,200 Israelis and the taking of over 200 Israeli captives out of Israel back into Gaza, where many still remain to this day. Then 
this holy war of the red heifer spread. It spread to northern Gaza. And then it spread down to southern Gaza. And then it spread to northern Israel up into Lebanon with Hezbollah. Then it spread to the biblical Red Sea at Yemen with the Houthis. And this holy war of the Arabs on Israel started over the red heifer. It still continues and threatens to further expand definitely into Judea and Jerusalem over Ramadan. And who knows where it could then possibly spread thereafter from Arab reactions to whatever happens at the Holy Mount in the Holy City during Ramadan. Israeli officials have now said that the Hamas plan is to use Ramadan and the Holy Mount to further their war, holy war, on Israel. Israel's deputy Jerusalem mayor, Fleur Hassan Nehun, pointed to what she called the Hamas playbook, in which she said that what Hamas is planning to do is to send provocateurs up onto the Holy Mount, to the Holy Al-Aqsa Mosque of the Arabs during Ramadan just for the purpose of starting riots on the Holy Hill by hurling rocks and rudimentary explosives, so to start clashes at the Al-Aqsa Mosque and surrounding Temple Mount as catalysts for greater unrest and war with Israel. The deputy mayor of Jerusalem, also said they are obviously, speaking of Israel, is now obviously in the middle of a war where things have taken on a completely new dimension where she said that Israel now has to be more careful because of this upcoming Arab Muslim holy season that will, she said, present a new challenge given the sheer number of Arab Muslim worshipers that they expect to arrive in the city of Jerusalem for this Ramadan, when they are expected to come from all over the country to the Temple Mount in huge numbers. Israel's Channel 12 reported that they obtained an Israeli military intelligence assessment that warned of such escalations, where the military document said that religious triggers may lead to an escalation in multiple arenas and even a regional escalation during this Ramadan, which they said can further turn the war that Israel is having with Hamas, turn it further into a religious holy war, according to the report on this document. And Israeli Defense Minister Yoav Gallant, he sent an internal document to the heads of the Israeli defense groups including the Knesset Foreign Affairs and Defense Committees, also the IDF Chief of Staff, the Mossad Director, the Shin Bet Chief, also the head of the National Security Council, as well as to the members of Israel's War Cabinet, where Gallant specif uh, specifically warned of the potential increase in security tensions throughout Judea and Jerusalem during the Muslim month of Ramadan. And he said that the Israeli defense establishment must prepare now for escalations happening during Ramadan emanating from the Holy Mount in the Holy City. You see, the Holy Mount in Jerusalem is the last line of resistance against Israel by the Arabs. First, in 1948, there was the first line of Arab resistance to Israel, fighting Israel from returning to their holy land and being restored as a nation. But the miraculous hand of God broke the Arab resistance. And when it was broken, Israel returned, restored, and preserved in the holy land by the hand of God. The next line of Arab resistance was at the Holy City, where the Arabs resisted the return of the Holy City to Israel. But again, by the miraculous hand of God, the Arab resistance was broken 
with the holy city of Jerusalem restored to Israel as their undivided capital in the Arab Six-Day War on Israel in 1967. And now, the last line of Arab resistance is at the Holy Hill, where the Arabs are resisting the return of Israel to their Temple Mount. And the red heifers were a sign to the Arabs that the realization of the Arabs' greatest fears could soon happen to where they were willing to start a holy war with Israel over just the threat of a red heifer sacrifice. What the nations and the media as a whole still do not fully understand and appreciate is that this war between Israel and Hamas and between Israel and Hezbollah, and between Israel and the Houthis of Yemen, as this holy war of Hamas has spread, what they do not understand is that this is not a war of just geopolitics. But from the viewpoint of the Arabs, this is a holy war over the Holy Land, where they, the Arabs, want the annihilation of Israel, which will actually lead into events of the end time of Bible prophecy, just as prophesied by Asaph in Psalm 83. This war between Israel and Hamas, and as it has spread to the other Arab groups, this war will not be resolved by diplomatic means with negotiations. The only way the Arab-Israeli conflict will be completely resolved is with the coming prophesied final war between Israel and all the Arabs. That is so great and intense, according to the prophecies, that it finally burns up all the Arab resistance toward Israel. That's how it will end. As one Jewish activist for the Jewish temple, Melissa Kronfeld, recently said in Jerusalem at the Holy Mount. She said that everyone says that the building of the third temple is what will bring the war, that it would destabilize the Middle East, she said. But then she said, the Middle East seems pretty destabilized already right now. And the war, if I'm not mistaken, is already here. And she's right. The threat of a Jewish red heifer sacrifice has already started a holy war, according to this Jewish Temple Mount activist and also according to the Palestinian Arabs. But when the red heifer sacrifice on the Mount of Olives is actually done, now at any time, on a secret day, in a surprise to the world, where suddenly there are media reports flowing out of Israel that for the first time in 2,000 years, that Israel now again has the ashes of a red heifer for the Jewish purification rites, to where the Jews can be purified, to where they believe that they will then be able to ascend the Holy Mount and build the last day's Jewish temple of Bible prophecy. If the Palestinians of Hamas launch their holy war on Israel just over the mere threat of the red heifer sacrifice, just imagine how that the news of it having already happened and what it means, imagine how it's going to strike fear and hatred in all the Arabs, pushing them to unify against Israel in their holy war, to protect their last line of resistance to Israel at the Temple Mount. And this is exactly what the prophecy of Asaph and the 83rd Psalm prophesies will happen. The Bible prophecies clearly describe that war comes to Israel in the end time because of their Jewish sacrifices where the prophet Daniel in Daniel chapter 8 describes how that there will be war on Israel specifically over their Jewish sacrifices. 
where the prophecy says that the nations will provide an army to oppose the daily Jewish sacrifices of Israel. And the opposition to the red heifer sacrifice that is happening now is the beginning of such prophetic war on Israel that opposes Jewish sacrifices. As this red heifer sacrifice of war seems to be the beginning. As we now live in the prophetic times of the last day's prophecies, as these events and conditions happening now in the world, they are connecting directly to the end time as warning signs pointing to the nearing fulfillment of the last day's prophecies. As we are at the end of this age, it's revealing that it's time to prepare now for the nearing appearance of Lord Jesus Christ for his church, so to be saved from the wrath to come by obeying the commandment of the Lord Jesus in John chapter 3 and verse 3. In John chapter 3 and verse 5, where Jesus said, Unless you are born again, you cannot see the kingdom of God. And Jesus Christ the Lord said, You must be born again of water and spirit, or one cannot enter the kingdom of God according to the Lord Jesus Christ. And Lord Jesus sanctioned only his chosen apostle in Matthew chapter 16, verses 18 through 19 as the only one appointed to tell the world how to be born again by the water and the Spirit, where Lord Jesus there gave his apostle the keys to the kingdom of heaven, with Lord Jesus saying that what his chosen and sanctioned apostle preached was bound, recorded in heaven, which is eternal, for the church of the Lord Jesus Christ. We're in the Acts of the Apostles preaching in Acts chapter 2 in Jerusalem to the Jews, And in Acts chapter 10, to the Gentiles, the Romans, no less. And in Acts chapter 19, to the Jewish nations, the chosen apostles of Jesus, Peter and Paul, preached exactly the same, how to be born again of water and spirit through the name of Jesus Christ in baptism and by being filled with the Holy Ghost of the Lord Jesus Christ. And these prophetic signs of the last day's prophecies that we are seeing happening now show us it's imperative that we prepare now for the appearance of the Lord Jesus, for his church, according to what Lord Jesus and his apostles actually preached in the acts of their preaching in their Holy Bible scriptures. And if you need help finding someone to baptize you and pray with you biblically where you are, according to the preaching of Jesus and his apostles actually in the Bible, You can contact us here at Signs of the Last Days Ministry to help you find someone. Our contact information is down at the very bottom of our website, signsofthelastdays.org. We're at the bottom of that website, signsofthelastdays.org, in the footer. There you'll find our email address. And you can email us and give us the name of your town and your state and your zip code. And we'll do our best to help you find a place near you for biblical prayer and baptism according to the preaching of Lord Jesus Christ and his chosen apostles. Please be looking for our next Watch and Pray live stream as our Watch and Pray live stream this Sunday evening where we plan then to share more signs of the last day's prophecies. And we'll also testify together with a staff of testimony. We'll pray together over one another over your prayer requests while sounding the shofar as the trumpet in Zion, and we'll worship the Lord Jesus Christ with instrument and voice as we glorify our Lord and Savior that is coming soon for us. Please make sure you're subscribed to and following this channel. Please click the bell to get all notifications for our live streams and videos. Amazing prophetic signs are happening right now in world events and conditions, and we are on the forefront of sharing that with this last day's church community. And for the biblical believers of Lord Jesus, the signs of the last day's prophecies are telling us, just as Lord Jesus said, to keep looking up as the signs show that our redemption unto the Lord Jesus Christ is drawing near.
Upon the Eastern Star.